So I caught a YouTube video of um, uh, the channel uh, Karen Birchall, and she built a small um, journal out of envelopes. So she inspired me to do my own. And so I have color-coded. I've got just the simple um, 3 and 5 eighths by 6 inch white envelopes from the dollar store. I went with these smaller ones because they fit really nicely into a regulation sized envelope to mail through the mail without it being any additional postage cost. So how we're going to do this is we flip one upside down and two upside down and then glue it right along the crease but leaving just a like a hair to the right of it just like so so then that way we can see so that flaps on the outside of two and then it's really you're just going just on the on the outer side of that so then that way you get a real nice closure and then we're taking three and we're taking the seal off or this could be glue or whatever you choose and we are sticking it into this here pocket and because this is self seal I'm trying to keep this up but it's not a real sticky one thank goodness and then fold it over get a good seal there and there we have it. So then what happens is, is this becomes your flap that can be decorated. And then when we open it, we've got some, we can stuff stuff in here. And then we can stuff stuff in here. And then we've also got a pocket here. So now, having the basic of this, I like to decorate um, when it's put together. I think Karen does it when it's all separated, but I like to have the back side of this journal um, to all be, um, you know, one cohesive piece. So I'm going to pull out my gel press, my gel plate, my jelly plate, and I'm going to start decorating this, and um, I'll probably fast forward it and then pop on as needed. So I'm loving that, but I did come across that the envelopes are kind of trying to come apart only because they're dollar store. Plus, um, this is going to be a flap, so what I want is I want to get rid of this sticky. So I've got some collage medium here. You can also use gel medium, uh, decoupage, whatever you have on hand. But what's going to happen is this is going to kind of make this... So it's no longer sticky. So just using my finger. And then I wanted to reinforce this, which is basically what pocket this is, is let me go back to my example. This is right in between three and one, where we put that flap in there. And it just, because of its being a self-sealer, it just isn't holding very well. So let me just add a bead of glue in there. And we're going to let this dry. And that should seal that up real nice. Just for some added sturdiness. Okay. And now I am also going to keep gel printing. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to end up doing some little fancy flowers or something along this flap here just to make it a little prettier. So I'm going to do some extra, an extra piece of paper here. Um, 
to be able to glue that stamp it cut it and then glue it and I think I'm just going to use some Nina cardstock this should be sturdy enough um, this is I think 90 pound let's just get some more color on here terracotta is almost gone love that translucent color Kind of going with the beachy theme here. It's summer. It's hot in Michigan. Oh my gosh, it's been so hot. So just kind of feeling beachy colors. This will do nicely for some added extras. let this dry and I'm going to be starting I'm going to add some mud splat with some stencils and mark them up okay so I've got a bunch of 4x4 four four stencils here uh, Shaw Apter um, I also have this here is actually a die cut that I did in Durlar so it works nicely as a stencil and I'm just going to start adding some mud splat some brown to this which will be like my dark you know for the value you can get the light medium and dark so this mud splat will be my dark and um, yeah I'm just gonna randomly add it I started with bigger ones because um, I like the look of that the bigger um, you know the bigger shapes we add nicely so then that way when I add the marks they can be smaller and so yeah I'm just gonna fast forward this is dry now see it's no longer sticky next step is to go in and add some stamping just for a little bit of texture and I did so with light colors so I've added some um, speckled egg by distress here with just a crosshatch stamp and now I've got one of Seth Apter's um, number 40 and it's a mini and I've got some this is actually um, ground espresso it's a distress archival color but this actually came in that big four stamp or the the big four um, chambered ink pad and I just removed it and put it onto a glass or a acrylic block because I that's the color I use the most And that way I don't have to have that big huge thing on my desk all the time.
added a few rub-ons and I'm gonna pretty much I'm gonna call this done but so this is really nice because you can take and store um, it's great size for ATCs or small tags uh, paper scraps and you got a lot of spots to just stuff this um, in the stencil club group Facebook page we did an activity with washi tape uh, washi roll um, if you want to watch that video I'll link it right here um, but yeah so it's just a nice little spot to um, you know to store our stuff and you could always take and add like um, you know some string or something like that to keep it closed but this you know it'll eventually it'll stay closed too so yeah it's a fun little book isn't it it's great for happy mail too because let me show you this is a regulation size uh, four and an eighth by nine and a half inch uh, envelope and if you wanted to do something like happy mail to someone it fits great in there so then that way um, you know that's some fun happy mail that's why I went with the smaller size so yeah um, thank you for joining me if you like what you've seen please subscribe and like so you don't miss um, or put notifications on so you don't miss when I post a new video and until next time, have a blessed day. Thank you.